Hello everyone, in today's tutorial I will show you how to create this effect so your environment will feel more atmospheric. So this will make your environment have a more atmosphere so it feels more realistic when you play the game and it will also look so much better so yeah. And this is a short video just because I need to upload something because otherwise people maybe think that I have quit with YouTube but I have not. It's just summer and I don't. I ain't on the computer so much. So yeah, let's start. So what we'll do first is to add a post process volume, but I already have one so I don't need to do that. But if you don't have one, you can just go up here, search for post process volume, and then just add it to the level. Then once you have your post process volume, you want to search for unbound and tick the box. Because then the post process will affect the whole level. Now once you have your post process volume, you want to click on it and then you want to find temperature. So search for temperature. So now you can see the temperature come up here and you want to tick this box and then you can change the temperature of the whole level. So if you want the temperature to be warmer, you can just drag this up and you can see that the level will be much warmer. But if you want the level to be cooler, so it's more blue, you can just drag that down and you can see now it is very cold. Uh, so yeah, play around with this. So yeah, play around with uh, this uh, until you get it how you like it. But I like mine just about there. I want it to be a little bit warm. So, once I'm done with that, I can just close out of here. Uh, so now, you want to add the exponential height fog. So, click here right there and search for exponential height fog. This one right there. This one right there. Then you want to click on the exponential height fog. You want to scroll down until you see volumetric fog. This one right here. So check this box to true. So now I am done here. So what you want to do now is to click on any light in your level. So I will for example click on this rect light up here. This one right there. Then you want to scroll down until you see right there. Volumetric scattering intensity. Now what this will do is that the more we increase this number, the more fog will come out of the light. So I will just change this number to let's say about 30 and now as you can see it created a kind of fog coming out of the light and the scene feels so much more cinematic and it kind of creates a more uh, atmosphere into your level so it looks very very good but now if you want to add this effect to all of your lights in the entire level you want to select all of the lights so scroll up here and then you want to click on your first light and then just scroll down until you see your last uh, light in the whole level. Then just hold down shift and click on it. Now, as you can see, I have selected all of the lights in my entire level. Then we can change the volumetric scattering intensity of all of the lights. So now, as you can see, it says uh, multiple values. So just change this, delete all of that. And then just set the number to let's say about 20. Now you can see that all of the lights has this fog coming out of it. So yeah, that is how to create a more atmospheric environment. Yeah, I hope you all have it great. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye.